the demand is here and they needed us to step up. On Tuesday, voters will head to the polls to vote on a $75 million bond for Canadian Valley Technology Center. The district is asking taxpayers to help fund campus improvements and a new public safety training facility. And the public safety training facility that will be located at the El Reno campus um, will be open to all of our entire district. The $52 million facility will train future first responders, including police, fire, and EMTs. Superintendent Dr. Gayla Lutz says local law enforcement officials can't hire and train fast enough to meet today's critical need. Now asking for the district's help to train tomorrow's heroes. About a year ago, I had a couple of um, uh, police chiefs approach me about uh, the need for the training. $22 million will renovate Chickasha's campus, creating space for growing programs, including hospitality, electrical trades, and cosmetology. It was built in the 1960s. It's in desperate need of some um, uh, modernization and um, expansion. CB Tech says they had to turn away 600 students this year due to lack of space and programs. The school says this bond will help them meet the growing need for Oklahoma's high tech industry. Taxpayers would pay $250 per month for every $100,000 of your home's value. 14 schools feed into the center, so voters throughout Caddo, Canadian, Cleveland, Garvin, Grady, Kingfisher, McLean, and Oklahoma counties can vote on this election. Current students say their classes are at max capacity, and this bond could help more students get in. Last year, there was maybe one to a seat going on the bus to here, and it was a lot of room for all the students. But now here, coming back for my second year, it's two to a seat going there and three to a seat going back. We have so many high school students that want to go into the trade and stuff, and we barely have enough room for everyone to have a seat.